Hello guys, welcome to my next episode of another BMW project and I would like to start this with quite embarrassing moment one of the viewers noticed that one of the tires was installed incorrectly I'm not sure how installers and I missed it but this is a fact of life everybody makes mistakes just brought my bumper to paint shop they're gonna paint it first they're gonna fix it because with good lights and of course to make it perfect they need to fix a whole bunch of dents like one over here and also I was in a hurry so they're gonna fix uh, these license plate holes too it's gonna take some extra work of course and the biggest problem is over here looks like this bumper already was repainted probably more than one time and right here and they have to completely strip it to the plastic and then prime it and then repaint it yeah so we're just gonna have to wait for this to be done and it's probably gonna take a couple of weeks because this is a very busy shop they have a whole bunch of cars outside and inside and Right now I'm going to install M5 side scores on my 535 and I would like to use this opportunity to show you guys how to do it. In my personal opinion, removing side scores on 535 or on E6 is probably the easiest uh, body part that can be removed. To remove side scores you need very basic tools. I'm gonna use 8mm socket, also clip removal tool and Allen key. Also I'm going to use floor jack to help me lift up my car a little bit because my car is super low. To start removing side skirt on 535, you need to remove one eight millimeter screw at the front of the car, which is located right here. And also there are two screws at the back of the car. And these are the two eight millimeter screws that you have to remove in order to start taking off your side skirt. I'm going to completely remove this uh, plastic thing, I'm not sure how it's called, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be driving this car, but if I have to, I don't want to lose it, so I will remove it completely. But if you already have your uh, side scores ready to be installed, you don't have to remove it completely, but in my case I will. Next, I will remove all of these plastic clips that hold side skirt at the bottom. You can do it with an Allen key or you can try and pry it with a clip removal tool. Yeah, and it's very easy. I usually start removing side skirts from front. I'm not sure if it's the correct way doing it, but I find it is the easiest way. So you just have to pull it from here and go from the front to rear. Yeah. At the front with the fender, it just clips. And I will show you guys later how it's positioning over there. You just have to gently pull it out.
yeah and that's it and this is how you remove side skirts on five series very easy like i said it's probably the easiest body part that you can remove on bmw 5 series and i'm gonna be selling these side skirts uh the stock ones like non non m style they're in excellent condition and for people who would like to know what's holding side skirt at the front this is the clip that goes on the fender yeah right here and it clips on these grooves on a side skirt yeah so these are what you have to pull out you don't have to be worried about breaking anything they're pretty sturdy so yeah it's pretty easy right now i'm going to install m5 skirts on my 535 they are regular m5 side skirts from e60 and they are different and i'm going to show you guys in just one second what you have to modify to make them fit on station wagon it's just a little of cutting required but it's not a big deal let me get my car on ramps because it's gonna be much easier to work on installing m5 skirts when the car is a little bit lifted and then i will show you guys what you have to cut to make these side skirts work Here you guys can see these are the m5 skirt and this is a 535 skirt and you can see 535 station wagon has this cut out and this is for the um, there's a bar that's like uh, i'm not sure how it's correctly called i will look it up and add it later but so we need to make the same cut on m5 skirt to make it fit so i'm going to measure this and then i will take some electrical tools like saza or maybe a grinder with a very fine uh, blade and make a cut and it's ready to be installed but i wanted to give you guys a little tip uh, if you're gonna ever install m5 or even if you're gonna reinstall regular side skirts make sure to put some of the masking tape around this area because when you will install them in your car these edges on doors are very sharp over here at the bottom and you can scratch this area so tape will save your side skirts from scratching wider or bigger side goes up like this
and this is how my cutout looks from underneath I think it looks nice uh, I think it doesn't matter actually so nobody's gonna see it ever unless people will go under the car but yeah this is uh, the only modifications you have to do for station wagons installing real real m5 side scores but other than that everything fits fine yeah i'm just gonna make sure it's all pushed all the way in and then i will reinstall these uh, eight millimeter screws three go here one over there and then these uh, plastic push ins pins over here it just takes probably like 15 minutes for each side i already like how it looks makes difference it probably sticks out from the regular side skirts like maybe two inches but yeah it looks much much better especially my car is lower has wider stance and yeah i think it makes big difference <laughs>